just yeah. doing an intro. Hi, this is Pam Holt. I'm with Inside B&B. And today my guest is going to be the very talented Barbaline. She's coming to us all the way from London town. She's going to tell us all about her patterns and her uh, wallpaper and her fabrics and furniture. Super vibrant uh, colors and patterns that she uh, is inspired uh, to produce from nature. So you might want to know, what does that have to do with uh, short-term rental hosting? Here's what it is. The whole point of a lot of what I do is about differentiating your unit from all the others that people will find on the platforms. And so one way to do that, and I know this to be true because I look at uh, listings all the time and I see a lot of beige listings. So I'm hoping um, that you can uh, learn something from Barbeline today and maybe consider including one of her fabulous pillows or one of her accent chairs maybe do an accent wall on some of her wallpaper kind of uh, lean into it if you're hesitant um, but incorporate pattern and color in your photos because that's what's going to attract guests when they're skimming through and searching for places to stay um, it doesn't have to be a big purchase it doesn't have to be a big deal it is just uh, you know maybe you have a beige or a solid color couch and you put uh, one or two fo pillows at each end, or maybe you have that uh, solid color furniture arrangement and you, um, you drop in accent here. That would be so cool. And so in your photo, instead of being a very monotone, uh, bland situation, you have that pop of color and that's what the human eye is attracted to. So I'm gonna say hello to Barbaline. Let me bring her in now, let's see. Hang on. Let's see. We're connecting now. Oh, Hello. there you are. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you look nice oh, yourself. You. Thank you. I see you there. Yeah. Kind of one of your one of your fabulous prints. That's great. That's it must great. be the garden chairs. Okay, is that a, a bit, uh, is a, oh, a deck chair. chair? Yeah. Okay. It adds a, a bit of a, you know, it adds a bit of a of a art on the wall. Absolutely. The white background. Yeah. Absolutely. I was just yeah. doing an intro saying how, um, trying to explain why. Well, I wanted you to come on so badly uh, and to talk about what you do because for uh, the host that I'm educating and that I'm hoping yes. to support, um, yes. the one thing that they have to do is they have to stand out. And, yes. um, and there's a lot of beige out there in the world, in the hosting world. And, uh, and not, you know, I'm not going to hate on beige, but a nice pop of color is a wonderful way to draw the eye to a photo. And yes. So let's let's start. Welcome. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to find you and to uh, to hear more about your business. Uh, everything yeah. is so exciting and so vibrant. So tell us tell us about your business. Well, uh, I started a business in 2015. So the, originally the business was about making children's clothing. Oh. So I was making children's clothing using a bit of um, prints that we have here, like a uh, Liberty prints and uh, and a uh, plain organic bamboo fabrics. Okay. So the front would be uh, Liberty prints all over it, and the back would be plain orange fabric or gray or any color at all. So, so then. So I start in 2015, then I launched for I launched three times. Then I realized that I needed to I've, I launched because launching is really expensive, and I realized that I was launching, but I wasn't gaining back what I was actually paying to launch. Okay, so it's like an exhibition. The, it's like trade the, shows. The trade show. I see. Okay. Yeah, I was doing the trade shows, and uh, when I was doing the trade show, the trade show is about two thousand pounds for two days okay. for people to come and see your garments and make orders. And sometimes, mm -hmm. when you don't make orders, you go back home with what you made. Okay, yeah. 
So until 2016, 17, I thought, why don't I sort of uh, learn and, you know, just design my own prints? Why do I have to, you know, go every time in this store? Even though I love the store, I love the prints. Some of the prints that I used from Liberty, one of my, one of my friends designs for them for many, many years. But I realized that I had to make my own prints because if I made my own prints and I printed it out, I, would, I didn't have to pay so much. Okay. So how do you make your own prints? How do you come up with a concept for the prints? You know, it's a bit, it's like I would see something and thinking. I wouldn't, someone could say to me, I want you to design a print for me now. And I wouldn't do it until I actually have this awakening or this imagination or this hit just comes in and say, yes, then I have to work out how I want the prints to come out. Then I would go on by illustrations, images, a mix and all these things is sort of a, something that I've already worked out in my mind. And I imagined how it's going to look. And they'll be like, yes, it's going to work. Then as soon as, that, as soon as I say, well, yes, it's going to work, then I will start to design and work on it. So you start with the pattern first or the color and the pattern? Or how do you Oh, I start with the, the designing. The first thing, I start with the, the actual animals. So okay. each animal has a different characters. Okay, so let's back up. So do all your prints have animals in them? Yes. Oh, that's most. Cool. Instagram is so cool. You have the most vibrant uh, pictures of animals and bugs and birds Thank that you. I've ever seen. It's just so cool. I could get lost in it. Yeah. So, so you start with the animal. Yes. And the coloring from the animal. Yes. So when I start with a panda, a panda will have black and white color when it goes on to Photoshop. Okay. So I'll, I'll use my uh, iPad Pro. And to design it to, you know, just coloring everything that I want, how I want it to be done. The colors is going to be the same as a panda. I want to design it. But the thing is, I'm just going to make it more sharper, more vibrant, you know, okay. more kind of luxurious. For me, I like it to be that sharp. I like it to be that luxurious. I like it to be bright. So I can't I can help it than to make it bright. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. Okay. Yeah. So, so once you have the animal... And the yes. coloring, and it's vibrant. And the pattern at that point, you have the pattern at that point? Yes, yes. Then what? You decide this is a perfect pattern for wallpaper, or is this, uh, can you tell if this is going to work better on a smaller scale, maybe a pillow, or how do you decide where the print goes? Uh, I don't really, I just let a customer decide where they want they print. So I'll just, okay. I'll just have the wallpaper as you can have as wallpaper. Or you can have it as a cushion, or you can have it as a lampshade, or you can have it as a chair. So the print is there, and the customer has to make, has to sort of use the imagination, or just be brave and say, "I'm gonna have it as a wallpaper somewhere." Do a lot of people say that because the wallpapers are spectacular? They are so bold. And yeah. so eye-catching. And I know that there's some people that um, that would be a little overwhelming for them <laughs> in terms of designing their unit. Or they might think for their short-term rental that it's, it's too specific and it won't yes. attract, you know, a larger group of guests. I disagree with that because I think that being distinct and bold and deliberate with your yes. pattern and your color is what separates you from mm -hmm. all the beige yeah, units. So yes. Even, even if you, I suggest to guess, even if you have a, a small wall, you know, yes. just on the entry, mm -hmm. blow it out with a big, uh, bold, patterned, um, you know, piece yes. and make that, that, that's your art at that point. Yes. You've now done an art installation. Um, yes. And it's often less expensive than art insta than a regular original piece of art not that this was not original art um, yes it's gonna it's gonna wear well it's gonna be bold and i guarantee that if you have one of those ostrich motif wallpapers and it's yes 
it's teal and it's orange and it's all these bright colors, <laughs> you are going to be remembered. That <laughs> listing is always going to be. I stayed at this B and B. It had this fabulous Oscar wallpaper. <laughs> I'm never going to forget it, and that's going to go in your yeah. reviews, and that is going to be something you can use then. Um, you know, in your photos, obviously, for future guests. I'm telling yes. you, that is, that's the way to go. And if you're nervous about it, just, you know, like I said, lean into it. Um, yes. What are some of the smaller pieces you have that people could kind of try out while they're, you know, ramping up to the full-blown wallpaper wall? Mm, uh, you mean samples? No, no, I mean, like, I've seen you have, I think you have placemats or... Uh, yes, I have placement. Yes, Elijah. Sorry, my son. Yes, I have okay. <laughs> I have placement. I have uh, okay with my original older, uh, I was red uh, older prints that I designed five years ago. I only have it in. A, I'll get you one so you can okay. see. Oops. In the meantime, what are you wearing? That's so cute. Oh, I'm wearing uh, something I bought from Zara, I think about a year ago. That I is bought fabulous. it because, and it's, it's really hot here, and there's no wind blowing. I'm in London. It's hard to breathe when it's so hot. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I don't think you wear the gown with it. Nothing. I couldn't find anything to wear. I said, I'm going to wear this one. So this this print here is a lampshade. Oh, I love that one. Yes. I love that this one. is, is a lampshade. Uh, yes, peacocks on it. That's beautiful. So that design is only on uh, fabrics, is only on upholstery, lampshades, cushions, and wallpapers. Okay. So those new prints are for table wear, but people can actually custom custom order those the, the peacocks okay but with the placement i decided to use my new um digital painting prints to okay. make it more vibe to just make it more somebody wanting more so it when in in real life is super luxurious you know people to i'll show you so i'll show you the um tray okay and okay. the plates yes oh, like serving tray yes yeah. okay I can't Oops. wait. If you haven't seen Babeline's uh, work, you must go to her website, uh, or you can also find her on Instagram. She has the most gorgeous prints and colors you've ever seen. And if you look real close, because you have to look close, you can't, um, you won't, nor you won't tell unless you look close. You can see that there are there are snakes and lions and all kinds of different animals. But when you stand back from it, it, it just looks like pattern and color. It's fabulous. It's very Oops. Um, engaging. Like you could just look at it and figure out, oh, there's a bird I didn't see. Those one of our well. chair. Can you see it? I can see it. Let's Is see. Can the, you pull um... back a little bit so we can see the whole thing? Oh, yes. Because I love these chairs. I think if you have a fairly occasional chair room, yeah, you can pop this in. Take a picture of somebody, you know, even you yeah. sitting in there as the host, and you have turned the flavor up on your <laughs> listing in a way that uh, your beige was not going to be able to do for you. Going to be, <laughs> if you have only one of these painted chairs in a in a white wall room, it's sort of a, it makes such a difference. It's you again, know? it's like an art installation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I really art. like the chairs. The chairs. Yeah, digital art. Oh, yes. It's very comfortable. It, I normally, I have more customers in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I have more customers in the U.S. Yes, even with the uh, bra, the bra company that I, I designed for them. Mm -hmm. So they have their own bra and their leggings. And uh, I've, so they are based in Michigan as well in the U.S. Oh, okay, so, the apparel. Yeah, I've seen that apparel. That's really cute. The she fit, yes. I've been, de I've been designing for them for a while now. I love it. Yeah. I've seen the little uh, sports bras and then your motif is kind of on the side. That's on really, the side, yes. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. That looks nice. The, the, so what these are the plates. See? These are the dessert plates. That's fabulous. And I would tell people, if you already have, um, even in your own home, if not in your rental, if you have just white plates, like I do, yes, pull these in for your dessert plates to your very exciting launch, which is next month. Hi, this is Pam Holtz. I'm with Inside B&B.